guys, this is Mike here. In today's video, we are gonna actually go through the steps actually of installing Lineage OS 16 uh, to the Mi A1 itself. This is the Xiaomi Mi A1. So for those that uh, actually wanted the stock Android experience, this is the one. But if you want a custom ROM Lineage OS edition, you can actually do that as well since they have Lineage OS 16 now for the EA1 itself. So currently, this is running on. Um, if you go look at the system, the plans and stuff, uh, the power phone, you can see now they are running on Android 9 as well. So it's up to you. If you want to do the change, you can, but if not, it's fine, right? So as of now, there are system updates available. This is for security patches and stuff. So, yep. So, before you can do anything, before you can start doing the flashing, first of all, you will need to go to about phone, go to your build number. So, this build number, tap seven times. Uh, then you are a developer. Go back and uh, look for, look for your uh, develop options. So, when you have develop options, you will need to allow OEM unlocking. And also enable USB debugging. Okay. So once you are done, you can connect this to your computer and you should see a pop up message if there is. Okay, let's just connect it. Um, so you will need to always allow this in. Okay. So once you are ready, we will move on to the PC for the setup. Okay, so the first thing first is like we will need to have ADV and Fastboot installed. So normally I'll just use minimal ADV and Fastboot. This is good. So I'll just share a link down below where you can install this. So when it's done, the first thing that you need to do is to do an ADV devices to ensure device is connected. As you can see, device is connected now. So um, you would need to boot into Fastboot for us to do the first step, which is unlocking the phone. So you go to uh, ADV, reboot, boot loader. So by doing this, you should be booting into fast boot mode. And uh, please be reminded, when you are doing uh, unlocking of your phone, it will actually clear off everything. You will factory reset your phone. So if you have any backup, just make sure that you backed up correctly and make sure you have no encryption enabled just to simplify the process. So when you are booted in fast boot mode, you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. As you can see now, it's connected. Then you will basically do a fast boot OEM unlock. This basically will unlock your device and reset everything in your phone. So, like what I said, please do a backup. So once you have backed up and everything is ready, you just press on enter. Uh, sorry, fast boot. O E M unlock. L O C K. So when you have done that, your device will be unlocked. So just wait for the. Un uh, Reset to finish and we'll move on. Okay, like I said, after you do a OEM unlock, you'll be bring back, you'll be reset and bring back to the screen. So we just repeat back the step that we do initially earlier in the video to actually go back to fast boot mode so that we can continue on with the rest of the flashing process. Okay, so once you have unlocked your phone <coughs> and you have done uh, what do you call it? Uh, all the necessary steps to get back into bootloader mode. So first thing you do is to do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So once device is connected, as you can see, um, what you can do next is to actually boot into the recovery because I don't think you can flash the recovery. So what you can do is do a fast boot, boot, recovery, TWRP. Uh, no, sorry, you need to go to your folder where you have your files downloaded cd me a1 uh, so you do a uh, things again which is the uh, fast boot boot dwrp so once you have done that your phone should be booted into recovery mode and uh, there will be some settings that we need on our phone so let's just get back to the phone for the uh, setup itself Okay, as you can see now, the phone is booted into recovery mode. So what you normally will do, the first thing to do is to wipe everything. Uh, you can do an advanced wipe. Where we add system, data, 
all this should be white. The internal storage, if you want, you can do a white. It's up to you. Um, we are not going to use anything there, so you can do an internal storage white as well. So just wipe everything off there. Go back. So what you have now is a clean state. So how we are going to do the installation is via, uh, what do you call that, uh, site load. So what you need to do is to do an advance site load and start the site load itself. So once you have done that, we'll move on to the PC for the setup. Okay, once you have enabled site load, what we'll do is to do an ADB. Uh, you can actually do an ADB devices to ensure your devices is device is connected to site load. So now you're in site load mode, so you're going to do ADB, site load, the niche. And just wait for the process to finish. Once this is done, we will need to do another reboot into a bootloader again and go back to recovery side load for us to install the GMs. So just let it finish. Okay, so when this step is done, we will need to actually go to the phone to actually do some stuff before we can go back to here. So let's just get onto the phone. Okay, as you can see now, the um, we have done the steps for side loading the package. So what we're gonna do now is to actually go back and do a reboot. And you need to put into boot loader mode again so that we can put into TWRP recovery again. So what we need to do now is to turn boot loader. Go back, uh, boot loader, and then try to reboot. So once you are in fast boot mode, we'll go back to the computer for the setup. Okay, so once you are booted back into fast boot, what you need to do now is to do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected again. Uh, devices. Once it's connected, we do a fast boot. Boot. AWRP. Recovery again. So once you are booted back into TWRP recovery, you just follow the previous step and enable ADB site load again. Right, uh, so that we can actually site load the GFs now. So now what you need to do is to do advanced ADB site load and enable the ADB site load feature again. So once you have the ADB site load enabled, now is the time where you do a ADB devices to ensure your devices is connected by site load. So when that is done, you do ADB, uh, site load, open GApps, Pico, right? Then just press enter and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, once we have done the site load for the open GApps, we will move on to the phone for the next step. Okay, once we are done, we can just back on reboot system, do not install, and just let the phone reboot. Uh, for those who have issues booting up to Lineage OS after the uh, reboot, it might be because of the you are not choosing the correct slot to boot up. So what you want to do is to actually boot back into custom recovery and choose the slot, the, the correct slot to boot up. So for this case, what we have is slot two, uh, slot B. So slot B actually has a lineage OS installed, so they are booting up as of now. So just just wait for the boot to finish. Okay, it seems like the phone has been booted up, so let's just carry on with the rest of the process. Skip. Video. Next. Uh, close off everything here. Accept. Skip. Now, skip anyway. Uh, yep. Right, wait. So now, lose on screen. No. Next, start. Okay. So this, there you are, you have Linux OS installed on the Mi A1 itself. So what you have is, uh, you can take a look at the uh, version. It's Android 9. Uh, 
yuk nambung yep. so that's all we have okay we're done so ultimately this is how you actually install the Nitro OS into the NDA one itself it's a bit complicated due to the whole system setup and stuff so yep if you like the videos I'm doing please uh, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you again soon bye